This was his spot, man, and it's funny because he was working on Victory Lap in this room, and um, this room and the next room. And he called me, he was like, hey, I need you to come do something for Victory Lap, blah, blah. I was like, all right, so I come jump out, and this was my first time being at this spot. I've been at his other spots, but this one. And uh, me and Mike and Keys was in this room, and he came in here. We was chopping it up about some crazy stuff. Same probably shit, debating, bullshitting. And he's playing me some songs, and I remember recording the songs here. And in the next room over, he did Two Hood. It was a remix I had for my song called Two Hood with me and Game, and he did the verse for that. But, like, he was sleeping there. Like, he was supposed to finish it. It took him, like, 10 hours. Nip was, like, super, like, it would take Nip forever sometimes to do records. Like, And he always be sleep. I think he'd be just doing something at night or something. Like, maybe he was still, like, something else at night or something. He always really took his time to write stuff. So, right. But it's funny because when I pulled up, it just blew me away. I was like, damn. And uh, what's funny is also in this room, Mike and Keys, my favorite song of all time is Michael Jackson, Rock With You. Mm. And um, Mike and Keys, we were talking about songwriting, and I was talking to Nipple about it, and we was all having this conversation. And they gave me the session to Michael Jackson, Rock With You in this room. And it's Rod Temperton humming the melody, you know, before he put the words. I got it actually in my phone, which is funny. We had a lot of fun, man. A lot of great conversations. He always pushed me mentally. I think I always challenged him the same way. Um, man, real good dude, man. Real good dude. I can't even begin to stress it. The first time we met that I remember, he had put out Slauson Boy and I put out my first project, White Lightning. And uh, he wanted me to meet him at um, on Crenshaw and Slauson. And I've been gangbanging for a long time, so... Like, I didn't even know 60s really hung out right there. Like, I, I didn't consider that the place where they hung out at. But he was like, yeah, meet me over here. And he was at this shopping center. And um, I jumped out. I mean, actually, I'm in the Bentley, too. So I jump out on him. I'm by myself, and he got about 20 of his homies. He like, you came by yourself? I was like, yeah, because what you mean? Like, yeah, this is how, you know, that's how I do my thing. And uh, we were just chopping it up with all his homies. And uh, we just sitting in this parking lot. It's a burger place, some other shit in here. He was like, yeah, I'm going to own this motherfucker one day. And I was like, yeah, you know what I mean? I didn't even really make much of it because I'm like, okay, you're going to buy some shit in the hood. But, you know, fast forward it to 2018, you know, when he finally got his hands on it and then kind of seeing what it meant, it was different, you know what I mean? Right. Which ended up being the parking lot for Marathon Clothing Store. Crazy. Yeah, I know. It just fucks me up every time I think about it, like walking in here. 